dear students uh, with reference to the fundamental rights i have taught you in introduction regarding fundamental rights and one more topic i have taught you characteristics features of the fundamental rights and today i would like to teach you classifications of fundamental rights the fundamental rights given in part 3 of the constitution i have taught you are classified into the following categories and first first of all i would like to teach you the right to equality article 14 to 18 what do mean by a right to equality the success of the indian democracy largely rest on the right to equality of the citizen the right to equality has political social and economic component what do mean by this we know that in our country many ethnic groups are there many religious groups are there many linguistic groups are there and means i mean diversity is there i mean diversity is there so it is necessary to provide equality to restore equality in each and every part of the nation and in each and every segments of the indian society then only the dignity and integrity of the nation can be possible so with reference to these goals i would like to teach you first one equality before law article 14 guarantees both equality before law as well as the equality in the protection by the law irrespective of economic status caste color creed religion etc practice of any kind of the discrimination on these account makes it punish punishable i think very easy means there will be no any discrimination on the ground of uh, caste color creed or uh, economic uh, ground means suppose if mukesh ambani and ek sapular so both will, uh, will be equally before the law now next article 15 prohibits discrimination on the ground mentioned article 14 for example admission to the educational institution allotment of, of shops i think you know that many time we have seen that uh, some gda like gorakhpur uh, gda is there in lucknow other nagar nigams are there okay lda i think you know this and in each and every city i'm talking that different different names are there so some government authority is there and if any shops will be there so shops will be given to allotment of the shops will be there so there will be no any discrimination and same rules and regulation will be there okay for example in uh, near uh, manbela in gorakhpur uh, multi story building constructed by gda and fair selection taken place means when allotment taken place so uh, each and everybody uh, equally uh, got opportunity and by lottery system it was decided that who will get that those uh, those flats i think you are familiar regarding this so same uh, things we can see in each and every part of the nation next one equality of opportunity article 16 provides for equality of opportunity of all citizen of india in matter of the related to the employment in the office under the central or state government it prohibits any sort of the discrimination on the ground of ground mentioned in article 14 it also allows making of reservation of the post in favor of the scheduled caste scheduled tribes by passing a law in 1992 the supreme court of india allowed 27% reservation of the post of the government services for the obc me other backward classes and now next one uh, abolition of untouchability article 17 abolishes untouchability and its practice in any form it gives teeth to untouchability offenses act of 1955 means any person preventing the other from entering the palace places of public uh, worship are using 
the public well a public transport system etc can can be punished by law what do you mean by this any person if suppose e your mahin sir belongs to scheduled caste rural tribes and going to uh, take water from well i think you have not seen the well how water will be taken out now you are living in uh, modern age so you you are having many uh, machines also and uh, by uh, uh, machine one uh, water uh, will be available but that time i am talking about uh, between before 25 years i am talking not very very late uh, only before 25 years i have seen that uh, water has been taken out by one utensils was there and 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 by well only water will be taken so scheduled caste people were not allowed and many many time by media and print media you are also familiar that the scheduled uh, scheduled caste people also not allowed to go to temple so these are a discrimination so by one act just i have taught you untouchability offenses act of 1955 ensure that कि नो बडी कैन प्रिवेंट एनी पर्सन ओके फॉर यूजिंग पब्लिक वेल आर पब्लिक ट्रांसपोर्ट सिस्टम एनी इफ एनी बडी इज डूइंग सो ही विल बी ही विल गेट पनिशमेंट नाउ क्लियर एबलिशन ऑफ द टाइटिन नेक्स्ट वन आर्टिकल 18 एबलिस ऑल टाइटिल लाइक राय साहेब खान बहादुर महाराजा धीराज एक्सेट्रा these titles are considered a negation of the equal status for all i have taught you in our constitution each and every person treated equally and right to equality granted to each and every segment of indian society so two three very important example i have mentioned here and this one evolution of the title suppose anybody is title holder so how we can say that in india equality is going on suppose your bahans are having a title rai sahab basically in british reign this title has been granted by british government to a respective person if they had done good deed a good deed means means they favoring the british government or in the favor of the british government anybody had done good deed so british government given that title so if suppose this title existed today so that will be a kind of a discrimination and we can't say that equality is there that's why article 18 is there in the constitution abolishes means nobody can use the, this type of title this type of title so that is very very important point however some uh, points are there that is very very important i would like to mention here however the title such as bharat ratna etc given for the meritorious public services or other titles in the field of sports academic honor or military services are not converted by this provision why suppose you in when uh, during independence day or republican day uh, you you have seen that many people given padam sri padam vibhushan so these a uh, different title these title given to those people who ha- who who had done extraordinary work in the field of sports or say, uh, or they, anybody saved uh, s- several people means and means very special work done so that is special title given a special reward given to those uh, people who had done very very special work so th- uh, that will be not considered in that article 18 try to understand so and last point the 42nd amendment act 1976 put certain restrictions on the right to equality a person can't move the court if his rights right to equality is restricted to implement the directive principle of the state policy what do you mean by this one you know this one directive principles are very very important means how provide maximum happiness to maximum number of the people that is a basic goal of directive principle so to ensure direct direct uh, direct principle sometimes some rights will be curtailed so because ki society will be given privilege 
in in place of indivisible so that's why this type of provisions are there you should not take it negative so only uh, in this video only this much and next video i'll teach you a right to freedom thank you